We said we were coming on at seven, and so we're just gonna wait a little bit um, for people to join. Um, we are excited that you're here because we literally planned this. We talked about it on Saturday, and it's Thursday, so um, we didn't know if it was gonna be a bust or not. We were hoping it wasn't gonna be a bust, so I'm so glad you guys are here. We have wine. Yes. Um, I hope you have wine or your favorite drink um, because <clears throat> this is just going to be an intro episode. I'm going to call them episode because we plan on having many. And um, I don't know. Can you be like, cheers to us? Yes. I think that's what we're going to call it. I don't know. We'll see. And I don't have my glasses <laughs> on, so I keep looking. I see, I see There's Ariel people. and Aliza. I, I see you guys. Um, <clears throat> so, honestly, I don't know. Do you know it's what time seven. it is? Mine, mine's it's fast. seven. Oh, mine's fast. I was so like, like, I'm, seven I'm seven pretty sure we haven't been on here four minutes. No. Okay, so we're just gonna go, and people can join as they. Uh, oh no, my Wi-Fi keeps going in and out, or yours? Oh, okay, Elisa, yours might be going out. Okay, because I didn't connect. We're at her house. You don't want to see my house right now. <laughs> We're in the middle of a move. And so, um, and so, um, man, I keep trying to read the comments. And I don't have my glasses on. So we're here. I didn't connect to her Wi-Fi, so I'm hoping everything works. We've got a couple of viewers on, so... I suppose, I don't know, should we wait or should we just start oh, talking? We should just start. Okay. Because I'm not, I'm going to have a hard time talking. <clears throat> I don't have a hard no. time talking. <laughs> That's right. I'll, I'll finish this. I'll be better. Yeah, there you go. See, this is why we brought wine. Um, I'm Kisa. I'm Tina. Um, we have been a blended family. She's... How do you want to introduce this? I am married to her ex-husband. I don't know how we're going to keep this straight. My, I'm just, just use their names. Yeah. Okay. So my husband's name is Jarrett. That's her ex-husband. She's married to a guy. His name is Aaron. <laughs> and, um, her and Jarrett had two children together and I had a child of my own. And are we saying their names or keeping them out of this? Um, they're adults. They're adults. We have adult <laughs> children. Yeah, very adult children. Um, we can say their names, so it's easy. It's so, fine. Uh, the children that Jarrett and I had are Michael and Maggie. Michael is 22. Maggie is 18. They both live here still. We're the empty nesters. <laughs> they were at our place. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Split. Split, yeah. And then, um, really the key is to put your house on the market and they'll all just move out. <laughs> really. That's the key. So they got about five years and they have to find their own Yeah. Places. So, um, so, and I have a daughter named Tanel and, um, she is 19 and, um, so Jarrah is my first marriage. I was in a relationship with my daughter's dad, but never married. So Jared's my first marriage. We are going on, don't make me do the math. We got married in eight, we're going on eight years, eight years, eight years, but we've been together since 2007. So if that tells you how long we have worked on our relationship, that's, we were doing the math, like almost what? 11 and a half years. So almost 12 years. We're going to go 12. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're going to make the 12 year yes. mark. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I, I guess our whole purpose was is we were talking and our relationship hasn't been easy, would you no. say? It has been um, up and down. And in the past, what would you say, how many years ago? That we weren't really talking? No. <laughs> When did we share our first bottle of wine together? We didn't share our first bottle of wine until probably... Jen, we got wine for you. Yeah, two, two and a half years ago probably. 
Yeah. It might be a little bit longer, but not definitely not more than three years. Yeah, because Maggie graduated, what, last year? So it was probably her soft, soft, somewhere in her sophomore year, yeah. don't you think? Probably. And sh this will be her first year post high school, so it's, yeah, yeah I'm going to say probably three, about three years. Three years. Um, it hasn't been easy. Nope. There's been frustration and tears and arguments yeah. and no brawls, no, no. yelling. Um, disagreements, but there has also been, um, I don't know, what would you call it? Friendship has formed. Yes, definitely. Um, we do family dinners, believe it or not. Even without the kids? Even, we went camping last <laughs> weekend without yeah. any of our kids. Yeah. And our husbands were there, and we had extended family there. Our cousins were there. Um... So it really, when I say it's a community thing, it it's not just us. It is our spouses. It is um, extended family. Extended family. It is friends. Mm -hmm. um, it is everybody that has helped us get, get here to where we are. <clears throat> so I know we have more people joining. So um, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> cheers. <clears throat> so do you? I'll let you. I'll let you, I talk a lot, so I'll no, let you take the lead. I, I need you to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still fighting. <clears throat> we both are. Um, it's just up to, I don't know where to start. I mean. Yeah, we want your input because here's our intent. Our intent is totally just to be here to help blended families. Um, to show them that this can work. It, I promise you, if you would have asked me if this would ever happen or if I would ever be doing family dinners with my husband's ex-wife or that we would be camping or spending holidays or together. spending holidays together, I would have told you you were crazy yeah. and that no way, even as much as I had wanted it always mm -hmm. to be in a good relationship, um, if you would have told me that we would be where we are now, I based on where we had been in the past. I would have never believed you. I would have called you crazy. So, it is... Sorry, we have two cameras going. <laughs> I forget we've got this one yeah. going. It is totally possible, mm -hmm. um, but it does take work. It does take communication, and it does take um, being able to really put your differences aside right. for the benefit mm -hmm. of your children. And mm -hmm. some blended families bring, you know into the mix from each side um some don't some have blended and then they they have, have their fun. own um our kids hit middle school and i said no this is yeah. not ever happening again <laughs> so um we don't really i mean we want your input we want to come our, we're thinking we'll come here weekly um, we're trying to figure out a scheduled date and time. Her schedule's a little more wonky than my schedule. So we're trying to be consistent for you guys. Hi. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Um, that, my friends, is extended family. So um, we are trying to be consistent. We want ideas. We really want this to be valuable to you. Um, we are willing to talk about the hard. We don't want to just talk about the roses, um, and the wine sharing <laughs> and, you know, all the pretty stuff. We are willing to, um, go deep so that we can help you. Cause that is the whole purpose of this. I felt like when, um, I started dating Jarrett, I'm like, But, um, I didn't feel like there was enough resources out there and we want to be a resource for you that you can come to, um, ask questions, give us topics and then we can, like, this is totally unscripted because you guys, it's yeah. been four days since we figured out we were going to do this. <laughs> and we weren't sober then. <laughs> I was when I asked, but I knew I had to get her when she was drinking to yeah. say yes. Because I really don't like this stuff, but I'm willing to do it because I know so many people will benefit from it. Our children have benefited tremendously. Huge. 
all of them. Not just not just their no, children. My my daughter, like everybody, has benefited from it. My marriage has benefited from it. Mm -hmm. um, just everything about it. So um, I don't know. Do you want to tell a little bit about? I don't know. Where should we start? I don't even know. We are losing people. What? Oh, don't cry, Jen. <laughs> don't cry. Is that Jenny? Yeah, that's Jenny. Um, hmm. I think we tried really hard in the beginning. Because mm -hmm. um, I obviously was totally fine with Jared dating, dating. you. <laughs> um, Who wouldn't be? <laughs> Just saying. And I, I think things got harder because they moved up to uh, Vancouver. Mm -hmm. You were already up there. Yep, I was up there. And then Jarrett and the kids moved up there. And that was rough on all of us. Uh, we tend to talk about how it was probably the worst year of our lives. Um, not only were the kids, what, like, Michael, on a good day, yeah. maybe like 45 minutes away. And we're talking the kids were at that point. Michael was in fifth grade. He was still in grade school. Yeah, Tanel would have been, um, wait, Michael was starting sixth grade when, when we all moved in together. So Tanel would have been in, I, oh my gosh, Tanel would have been in fourth grade and Maggie was starting third grade. Do I have yeah, that right? I think so, yeah. So um, the kids were young. I mean, Michael was the oldest, and he was just starting middle school when mm -hmm. um, Jarrett and the kids made the move up to Vancouver, where Tanel and I were, and they were starting a new school. Yeah. Um, and they had always been in their neighborhood school. Right. Well, they grew up, well, for the most part. I mean, Maggie grew up where they lived. I mean, that's where she was exactly. born. Um, but yeah, they have taken away from their friends and all those comforts, you know, mm -hmm. but like, well, I mean, it was hard enough going through the separation and then within, I don't know, how long was it before you guys moved up to Vancouver? We moved, he, we started dating in 2017 and he moved in, in 2018, no. the following year so that we, so that he was up there when they started sixth grade. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not 17 or 18. 2007, we started dating. In 2008, they moved up. Um, I don't remember if I. I, I it was in the summertime. It, was, yeah, it had to have been started. before school started yeah. and after school in Oregon was out. So, and yeah, it was it was 45 minutes on a good day. Yeah. For a commute. So, mm -hmm. and she would come up and see the kids. Um, on your days off. I would come get them. I work graveyard, so I would come get them, I want to say, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday and Wednesday, or Monday and Tuesday. Tuesdays. Uh, when they were out of school, I'd come pick them up. And <coughs> then we would turn around the next morning and leave the Beaver tent by 6.30, so I could have them back to school and back home, and then back up to pick them up again. and. It was rough. It, yeah, it was rough. It was a rough, it was rough adjusting, I think, for the kids adjusting to their parents splitting up. Mm -hmm. I think it was rough for Tanel, who I had never lived with anybody. So her sharing me. <clears throat> so her sharing me um, was rough because she was really tiny when um, her dad and I split up. So um, so I think that was just rough all the way around and honestly learning how to take two families who are dealing with divorce alone, right? right and try and mix that in with trying to figure out how in the world are you going to um, blend these two who come from different backgrounds, different lifestyles, different rules, different expectations, um, you know, kids who never wanted to see their parents split up, 
who may or may not want to be in the situation that they're in. I would say our kids didn't want to be in the situation that they were in. Um, so, um, you're telling have me to have wine. some more wine? <laughs> Am I talking too much? <coughs> I'm getting too serious for the first episode. I gotcha. I'm just saying it was hard. That first year was hard. Okay, apparently I need to drink. <laughs> We did though. We tried. We would get together uh, for the kids' birthdays. Yeah, that was awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't you think? The it very was. first birthday we tried to do together. We did. We tried to yeah. make the best of it. Michael was turning, I don't remember how old. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. And we held it at the house, right? I remember a birthday cake at the house and your friend, I can't remember her name, short Lisa. Lisa yeah. came over. Oh, yeah. I also remember a birthday up there where we went to like some a park for Maggie's birthday. You remember that? In or was it no no no. Down no. here. Oh down here. I remember that, but were we living in Vancouver at the time of that one? Yeah, you had to be. Okay. I remember that one. And I remember doing one at like a at a, a wing pizza place in Vancouver. Do you remember that? Oh, like barely? Barely. Yeah. We've been together a long time, yeah. you guys. I try to block out some of the Vancouver stuff. You want to hear topics about the struggles of the differences in parenting and holding them accountable between the two households. Oh them my gosh. being the kids. <laughs> uh, That's a whole other episode. Yeah. Or two. <laughs> Five. Three. <laughs> we yes that is a huge <clears throat> huge topic because I hear parents all the time and we struggled with it too and um, you have different values you have different rules you have different expectations mm -hmm. of your kids and I can say that and we will touch base on this but I can say that once we aligned it was easier so much easier once we started communicating mm -hmm. It was easier. It was... Because um, we went from that point where we were not talking, like, at all. And especially when a certain child would pit us against each other and say something that the other per person said. And, and then it was nothing but chaos, basically. It was, it was, it was our fault mm -hmm. because we, we stopped communicating. Mm -hmm. Because we let what we hear from the other household or hear what was coming back from our children from the other household dictate how we felt about each other. And so instead of picking up the damn phone and being the adults, and being the adults or instead of, um, hey, can we get together for dinner or a glass of wine? Instead, it dictated like, oh, I can't believe that, you know, like. <laughs> What? What are they thinking? And when it came down to it, most of the time, not always, because we have not seen eye to eye on some stuff. Right. Um, and we have gone rounds on that, I think respectfully. Yeah. Um, but once we figured out the communication key, then I think that made it easier. It didn't completely always go away because... It's like a habit, right? It can slowly start trickling back in. Mm -hmm. And the minute I knew I was feeling a discord, once I had learned why I was feeling that discord, I was like, oh, we haven't talked. Yeah. And we're like, oh. So that's why um, then we'd pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. And we actually implemented, we should, um, we actually implemented family dinners. Yeah. And so we started doing family dinners every week. Was it every week? It was every week to start, right? I think I think it was. We started doing family dinners together every week. So it wasn't necessarily just to talk about whatever was going on with the kids. It was also <clears throat> a showing for the kids for them to see like, hey, we can share wine together. Right. And hey, we can get together and hang out. We got people downstairs, and we're all like, you're invading our space. It's funny, my husband, or Jarrett, I should say, Jarrett, <laughs> is hanging out with the kids, and, um, well, we're drinking wine. Yes. 
and I mean, Jen, yeah, we will totally hit that topic. We might want, I don't know. We're not really briefing before these, but again, this is the first yeah. one. Um, that is a huge one though. That is one that I think can probably cause the biggest rift between two households. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest thing you have there is communicating mm -hmm. with the other parent. Because there was a time that the only time that we ever saw each other or communicated was during a school event. Meeting. And even then it was like, oh, shit, I should yeah. save her a seat. <laughs> and I'd be like, I am sitting as far away from her as possible. <laughs> the kids are laughing at us. They think we're, yeah. they think this is funny. Especially our son. Yeah. So, um, and the other thing is, is the other party has to be willing. Mm -hmm. Like, if the other party isn't willing to communicate and talk and see, at least, at least hear you with open ears, mm -hmm. uh, that's tough. Because you have to both, <coughs> everybody has to be in a space where they're willing to put whatever differences they have aside mm -hmm. and go, okay, what's best for our kid? Mm -hmm. And it took us a long time to get there. We went like this, you guys, in waves. It'd be like we'd try, and we were going good, and then all of a sudden, it'd, we'd plummet. Mm -hmm. And then we'd come back up, and we'd try, and we'd go again, and then we'd plummet. Um, I would say that we are out of the plummeting stage. Yes. Our kids are also grown. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It makes it easier, but I think, I mean, we got out of the plummeting stage, I think, Probably Maggie's sophomore year in high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, that's when we finally came together because that was, oh my God, I can't even describe how bad that year was. It was horrible. Oh no, you keep getting kicked off. Hi, Megan. Hi, Jennifer. And we ha pretty much had to come together for. Maggie, <coughs> if, if nothing else. We and had no that, choice. Yeah. It was a catalyst <clears throat> that literally changed everything for us. Everything. And, and out of respect, we're not, we won't go into detail on that, but um, there was a catalyst that, that that was the only choice if we were looking at her best interest. Mm -hmm. Then... And... Oh no! How'd it end? We've only been on 22 minutes. idea why <coughs> I don't know if we wait for people to um, jump back oh, what? oh the <laughs> well the mirror I was like uh, did the dog knock it over um, I don't know well, if it'll come back on I don't know we'll wait we'll see hang on we're telling more followers <coughs> to join your video I don't know what happened. That's weird. I don't think there's a uh, new lash. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think there's a time I'm limit doing on live. Something right now that I absolutely. I know. I'm proud of you. Hate. I know. I am proud of you. I didn't think you were gonna say yes. I mean, I've had this idea for a while. No, because I mean, like I've told you before, I've talked to people at work and told them, you know, we'll come home and. Sure, it's sitting in the house, bullshitting with Michael. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> how many families can have that? Not very many. Exactly. And I mean, well, most they can have it. It's just a matter of wanting it and wanting it and getting there and making sure everybody's mm -hmm. on the same page. Yeah. What in the world? I don't know mm -hmm. what's going on. We can keep talking in this one though. Okay. Um. Where were we at? I don't remember. Worst year of our life. <laughs> 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 we 
Which ended up actually being the best year. Yeah. Because had it not been for that year. Oh, look, somebody's back. Jenny. Jen, I don't know what Jen happened. Or is that Justin? That's Jen. Um, because had that not happened, we wouldn't be where we are today, no. I don't think. I mean, I think we would have made a good shot at it. But I don't think we would have leveled off. And sometimes you know? it takes, unfortunately. I don't want to use the word tragedy. No. But we were on the verge of a tragedy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's what brought us together. That is it. Yeah, that's probably a good way to describe it. Yeah. On the verge of one. <coughs> <laughs> I felt like we were on the verge of one every day for a good year. <laughs> it was not not pleasant. Y'all, high school sucks. Yeah. Actually, I won't say that because I didn't have the same well, with the other two. But, yeah. um. It just depends. Each child is different. You could have all three children growing up in the same household with the same rules, and I swear to you, all three will be different yep. and turn out different and have different all three have personalities different agenda. and agendas, and and it's fine. I mean, yeah, that's if you yeah. ask moms what their personality when their baby was born, a lot of them will see that that baby was born with the same trait. It keeps pausing. Huh. Hmm. Okay, well, so then that's our cue. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to end this one. I do have YouTube going. Well, I don't have... I have a video for YouTube going. I didn't drink all the wine. <laughs> um, we Jeff, have a, you know better. <laughs> that's not even <laughs> true. So, um, we will end this. We are going to come up with a um, day and time that's good, and we really, really, really want feedback and topics and to know what works best for you guys. So, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to end the live video. I want to thank all of you for jumping on. Yes, thank you. And uh, we didn't mean to get so serious the first time, <laughs> but it happens. And oh, and it'll is, happen again. It's totally unscripted. Like, that's the thing. Like, we're just here. Yeah. Because... And next time we'll bring Kleenex. Because I might need it. Are you going to cry? Oh, when we were Stop. talking about Vancouver, I might have. I might have been close. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Bye. So we had 11 viewers last time. One viewer this time. It was Jen. And it had a weird... Oh. Hi. Um, and this one. <clears throat>